It's like crazy too. All right, so let's jump into a non Nether Realm game with Street Fighter Six. It's it's gonna be a really this week is gonna be very very interesting. Of course, that's gonna be because uh, we got the an, a formal announcement that went down. I think it was was it the twelfth? Yeah, it was the twelfth. So it was about five days ago. We got our formal announcement on Capcom's uh, on the official Street Fighter, uh, the Street Fighter Twitter. Excuse me. Uh, we got a Street Fighter showcase showing up, and of course, as a splash up, you you know what we got? We got little Wheezy F baby showing showing through, and actually announcing that, the, that he will be hosting the event, which is going on on April twentieth for twenty to my Blaze Green homies out there. But yeah so yeah. we got we got a showcase to, to tune into 3 p.m p uh, pacific time which is gonna be six o'clock for us here and once again they're gonna be breaking down they've already said what they're gonna be taking a look at they're gonna be talking about fighters a uh, fighters ground a world tour and battle hub a little bit more so they're, they're, they're gonna they're not just only gonna talk about those specific components of the game but they're also apparently gonna have a huge announcement as well and I mean, we've already speculated about this, right? We covered it last week that there's been talks that we will most likely get an open beta at the end of the month, which coincides. You know, we, we, we covered that right before this, uh, this, this, this announcement was made. So it coincides with that story uh, pretty well. So I wouldn't be surprised, but I think overall, man, it was a surprise. It was a surprise to see Lil Wayne come through. Yeah. I mean, some people might seem it's random, but uh, I, I I don't it's, it's not as random as you think for a multitude of reasons and uh, I, I just want all right so I want to put it out there right because there's yes. a there's a I was, it's, yeah, I'm just gonna be a buck because that's just what <laughs> Spit I am it out no yeah no it's just it's interesting it's just all right so this is there's this personality out there I'm not gonna say their name because uh, they're not worth actually naming name dropping because I just think they're a piece of shit that's just me but uh, they, 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 they supposedly this person has, they have ties with the FGC or had ties, whatever the fuck their problem is with the FGC and went on a rant about like, oh, they picked up little Wayne. They're so stupid. Why little Wayne? It's 2023. He's not even relevant. This, that, and the other. And I'm just like, and he's like, and he's like, oh, and he's a rapper. I'm like. Bro, you are so like so disconnected on a multitude of levels. Like Street Fighter and fighting games in general are very, very hip hop orientated. Like it's it's pretty well documented, you know that there is there is a certain there is a certain uh, relationship there. And plus, Street Fighter Six, considering the producers themselves have stated they are bringing I mean, a lot of that into this, which you can see it clearly in so much of the presentation. Uh, like, not just that the the director's t-shirts are longer than my yeah height. Street, like, street, <laughs> Fight, street fighter is hip-hop like it is about hip-hop like i don't yeah. understand why it, that was even a confusion so it, it, it kind of like not, i don't want to say it pissed me off but i was like wow you you can't be any more disconnected when ranting about this shit and trying to stay relevant with a scene that you're not even involved with anymore and, and and I just want to like you know maybe if you're gonna take anything away maybe a little bit there's a little there's a little um of uh, you know gold nugget of, of knowledge for you. Capcom's already paid like an incredible amount of money to to market this game. It was on fucking WrestleMania, right? We had they had ads on WrestleMania. You know it's already they're already yep. they, uh, oh excuse me it was Rumble. a Royal Rumble Royal Rumble excuse me thank yeah. you I was like said WrestleMania that was too recent. They didn't Royal, do a Super Bowl on, ad on, on Royal Rumble game. they didn't do a Super Bowl ad. yeah I think it's a Super Bowl ad I think it's just a little insane two million dollars that's the yeah whole, yeah that's the whole Capcom Cup right? yeah right um yeah. <laughs> but you know they, they they have definitely been pushing their marketing forward and it makes sense to have someone like Lil Wayne to be attached to it because Lil Wayne has also in the past you know have toured has a history of touring with with cats like obviously you know some of his artists like Drake and they've even had like Street Fighter themed like Street Fighter 4 themed like graphics merchandise and shit like based off of it. like they are definitely tied to it it's not the first time like you know we've had our lupes involved in right that that are also you know it have been in the scene right of blade daigo blah 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 like they, they're involved like this isn't anything new so for them to put out someone like Lil Wayne to get to join up like that's just a mass appeal man like like Lil Wayne still is very relevant nowadays I don't know how you couldn't say he isn't and 
you know, just having them on here is going to put so many more people's eyes on Street Fighter that probably just they just aren't they just weren't aware of. Oh, there's a six. Oh, that's crazy. There's a six. Oh, man, yo, look at that. They're going to see this on that showcase, too, because they are fans of, of the wind. Like, I, I feel like you, you underestimate the, the amount of marketing power someone like that has. And Capcom clearly knows what they're they're trying to push forward to. Because this game is going to fucking sell, so they're just gonna like make, they're just gonna roll with it. And if it means bringing a name like this in to present at a showcase, like hell yeah, people are gonna watch. Like, are you crazy? There's gonna be people that are gonna definitely pick up this game because they didn't even know it existed, not because yeah. of what Wayne's in it, but they're gonna be exposed to it because he's part of it. So I didn't. Uh, by the way, I didn't know who Ninja was until he tagged with drake on fortnite yeah so like, like it's, it, it's and i already knew insane. what fortnite was and i knew already knew what streaming was but for the amount of people that showed up during that stream after that tweet oh yeah it was huge for that game and for ninja himself yeah for sure so i mean and then granted i, I had a friend who knew ninja personally and i was i was like oh i feel terrible now yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, so this was I think not really a big surprise. Uh, so so I was I just wanted to put it out there because I I thought that nonsense of like oh why is he involved? I'm like clearly you just don't understand marketing 101. You're not really aware. You're not even in tune with the scene. So it's like it really just ticked me off. I was like son, like just be happy this shit is happening. This is getting so much more mass appeal. Like this game is going to sell so well. Like it's insane. So they're just going to just roll with it as hard as they can and put their resources in to make it to showcase it as best as possible. And it's going to work like it's going to sell because of it. But yeah, like Street Fighter and fighting games are hip hop. Like I don't there, there's just no two no, no two butts about it. Like it, it, they, there is definitely a big relationship there. So I, I you know, just wanted to make sure that was out there. So people are aware of that. I think it's a good way to go about it with using them as showcases and whether it's going to be like a host of here's some ex exciting clips and then it's just like him showing yeah. not really playing the game because yeah, last fun. time it was just the Lupe Di Di Diego. Wow. <laughs> Diego. Lupe Diego stuff. Yeah, oh, Lupe I think Diego. I was going to say Diasco. <laughs> <laughs> the so Lupe it was the Lupe Diasco. stuff and then you had you even had Kanye show up that one time in Street yeah. Fighter 5 to test the game out yeah. but they didn't really use him at that time either for nope. 5. No, um, but, like yeah. there wasn't much celebrity to it. This yeah. is going ham. Yeah, this this, is going and, and we don't, and yeah. we don't have to have like, and we don't know, like motherfucker, we right. don't know. Lil Wayne might be about that life, for all we know, right? right? Like, yeah. you know, it's just like motherfucker is definitely about that skateboard life. Like, I come from that cloth too, and that motherfucker really is about it. And it's like, well, you don't, you just, you don't judge a person. You don't know. They might really be nasty with it, or might be about it. And this is a way of them. Maybe they got interested, and he wanted they to have be involved. Tour Shit, yeah, right. They gotta entertain. Somehow. I remember Roman Reigns was uh, was it WWE. He had a clip, and then they showed his tour bus. They opened the door. What's hidden behind the uh, a chair? A PS Five. So, yeah. <laughs> what are they doing on the tour bus? Playing PS Five. Okay. So yeah, so we get to check out uh, the showcase once again. It's gonna be happening April twentieth. I mean, that's also like come on, genius marketing. This is gonna be fucking awesome. Uh, of all days, four twenty. Once again, shout out to my Blaze Greens. And it'll be live on, I believe it's going to be across the board, Capcom Fighters on Twitch. It's going to be on YouTube right now. They're linking specifically to the YouTube. So there's already a pre uh, a pre setup. There's even 69 people waiting in YouTube. Nice. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up, Wheezy fans? There we go. I just want to put it up in there uh, <laughs> to all 69 of you chilling. But this is going to be sick. I am, I'm assuming we're going to be getting, of course, some of that, uh, some of that open beta potential announcement. And of course, uh, the other announcement they're probably going to have is going to be this ad break that we're going to hit real quick. So we'll be right back after this, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right. All right, and we're back. Closing off. Well, not really to close it off yet, but yeah, Street Fighter Six Showcase going down on the 20th of April. This is actually going to be probably one of the components they're going to talk about, and it's already kind—it's already been—it's uh, already kind of been shown off that it's—it's it's kind of like live or, or you know, you can see it in the marketplace. But yeah, so remember, we got Fighting Ground, we've got World Tour, uh, you know, in the Battle Hub, right? We got like the three—the three components. If you played, especially the the beta, you know, those three components are what you see when you first start up the game, and Fighting Ground. And World Tour are your single player 
content that the game is providing. You don't need to be online for these. But it's been shown that in the Microsoft Store, and I think at this point now, maybe even the PlayStation Store, has shown that Street Fighter VI, Fighting Ground, and World Tour are all separate downloadable pieces of content. Now, what does what what does that mean, right? What does that mean specifically? Uh, th this is actually really cool. I, I was trying to piece this together, and it kind of makes a lot of sense if I put it in this context. Is so, of course, you guys, you know, traditionally in fighting games, whether you have a single player content. Uh, arcade, whatever, right? That usually gets downloaded with the game. You know, so with that comes your cutscenes, uh, endings, your dialogues, whatever little additional accoutrements come with the game that, that are just outside of just, you know, playing a match, right? Like for Guilty Gear, it's like another story or a story mode, right? You actually, you have, you get all that. That takes up space in the total size of the game, not just the actual, you know, me versus you in-game match uh, data. So when I heard about this, I was like, man, why, why would they, why would they do that? I want to say you're, you're specific. I think you're going to still require, obviously you're going to still require street fighter six in order to actually download fighting grounds mm -hmm. and, and world tour or rather for them to actually execute, right? Like if you click on the app itself, you can just execute on it. But yeah. what I think is going on here is I think this is like a method for Capcom which is going to sound very weird, but it kind of also makes sense because it's, it's, it's beneficial to both, I guess, is that this is more for the competitive scene where TOs or people that are just playing the game to just play matches mm -hmm. or maybe even a general casual player that just wants to play matches, doesn't give a shit about the single player stuff, can just download Street Fighter Six raw by itself and not take up as much of a size as it would if you had every piece of what World Tour content's gonna come with, every piece that Fighting yeah. Ground is gonna come with, all that extra fluff, which is like good, like if you want the whole game experience, you download it all, that's fine. But say you have to set up a bunch of setups, right? For as a TO, you no longer have to worry about the the 30 or however many gig download it's going to be. As a matter of fact, Fighting Games Daily said it's going to save a lot of storage where you don't have to worry about downloading this whole big piece of the game. All you require yeah. is this much if all you're trying to do is get your matches on, right? It's it's a beneficial to players, to, to, to uh, tournament players that are just trying to, to, trying to get matches. They just want to go online, hit Battle Hub and go online. Cool. TOs are going to have a lot of time, especially if for any reason they have to download things at venues. Now you no longer have to worry about like one setup having to drain 30 gigs, 40 gigs. It can now maybe be... 10 gigs 15 gigs right it, it, the the amount of space it takes up in your hard drive is no longer as as big the footprint isn't as big so it, it makes a lot of sense for that which is really really cool for them to do that uh but then if you need the whole thing you can just like oh maybe you just want to deal with world tour then you just download world tour and you still don't need to worry about fighting ground if you don't want it and it's all just really the the whether or not you need these pieces of content in there. And they were just saying like, you don't have to have everything. You can just have, you know, select what you want. Obviously you still need Street Fighter six to buy it, <laughs> but you can just pick and choose as to the components that you're going to be playing into the game. It's, it's very interesting. I like that. I like it. I like that they're separating it. I mean, think about those times where they're like, yo, uh, we need to update the system. You have to update the whole game. Yeah. World Tour it doesn't even have to be touched. Yep, um, exactly. This could also mean somebody who's, like you said, not interested in World Tour. Um, this doesn't have to load up the entire 45 to 50 gigs that Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite has to. Um, yeah, because it had you know, the entire right. story, right? It had all Plus, those cutscenes yep. that had so much in it, uh, which is which is a good thing. And actually, the other part of that that makes it interesting for me is that for them to think about that, I wonder just how much content could be in World Tour that they're like, yeah, yeah, let's make this optional because this might be, this is huge. Like from what we've already seen of World Tour, right? You know, it's going, it's going to be very expansive, right? You're going to be going to multiple, you know, uh, venues and, and, and places around the world to, to check out. And, uh, it, it's going to be like combat quest, uh, or conquest. I don't know if you remember conquest from like, what was it? Uh, not Deadly Alliance, Armageddon, right? When you had okay. Shujinko's whole, uh, this is Mortal Kombat for those that don't know, it has like Shujinko's whole first, it's a whole one single player 
piece of content that is just like free roaming you're going through all the the realms and you're meeting all these characters just an entire story arc to it and it was just huge and it was expansive it was like it was really awesome if world tour is anything like that it's gonna be massive okay well yeah and and it, uh by the way the i can't I still can't get over this cover um yeah it, it's gonna be really good but at the same time it's also i don't know i don't know how big monster hunter is but the re6 or the re engine mm. is really pushing the limits on how much they can get away with with uh with the whole street fighter side of things the fighting game side of things maybe it's also one of those things where by the way resident evil 4 about 57 gigabytes on my hard drive uh monster so, on the rise is about 52 minimum right now see? i think i think that's just oh. the base game not like any additional dlc this game could probably be 100. <laughs> no i don't know what's it what's it running can you you find that out you know, uh according to the xbox page it says uh 50 around 50 gigs with the steam version says it'll require about 60 gigs or so wow yeah so it's a hefty boy it's a hefty yeah. boy so imagine if they're trying to cut that it's maybe in thirds what even if world tour was uh, even half of that because i don't see fight, fighting ground as gonna have like you know has your training and and your verses like your offline verses and stuff like that so i i don't see that being too too big but world tour i think is gonna be the big cul culprit here and maybe even if that's 20 20 maybe 30 gigs like cut that down like make make, make it be half of that that will it'll be worth like this this method this attack yeah. on it will will be will be worth so we'll, we'll just have to see but it was really interesting yeah so as as, as i'm assuming we're going to be getting a bit more information of it once this showcase happens in just three days by the way it, it, if i didn't state earlier this is getting recorded on the 17th of april so we are about three days away before the showcase does go down later on this week on thursday once again that's going to be 3 p.m pacific time 6 p.m eastern so to wrap up our street fighter we have one quick thing which is a nice little collab but like i said they're going yo is this is this a sign are we looking at, at the species gonna be the direction so We've been we've been flamed as in we me and static have both been flamed in the past by yes. our awesome producer Ja, who just does an amazing amount of work behind the scenes <laughs> uh, about our about our, our keyboards like I have my little I have my little ducky too here right it's a nice 80 percent it's a I think it's just 80 percent super this, compact right here like you've got at least a 10 keyless it looks like an 80 percent something like that in there uh, or 60 percent for me I think is what it is. And, and you know i just like little compact you know, little compact keyboards are nice yep, they're nice for me right yeah there you go they got a nice little pick of that well uh we now have a reason to be like haha -ha. <laughs> there's a there's a collab here with uh with uh high ground and and street fighter for some custom keycaps as well as some custom keyboards which the keyboards themselves look sick with oh, the akuma 10 symbol in the back did you tell them why we were flamed we were flamed because, because I, don't have, be I don't have arrows on my oh yeah we're flamed because yeah, there's no arrows use, and such i have yeah. to use a function key to get to my arrows yeah so do and, i but well, that's that's this, pretty standard this has arrows yeah yeah <laughs> i didn't yeah. want number pad uh, oh yeah that's usually the 10 kilos is the way to go but yeah so high ground x street fighter there are some i think the 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 two summit the base camp these are 65 percent or 60 for 65 uh percent keyboards i'm pretty sure has some really awesome artwork to throw on there yeah. some iconic street fighter 2 artwork i really wish they would have done a little bit more but maybe street fighter 6 that would be kind of cool keep it a little bit more modern but some of the stuff is classic you won't hear me complain about it all go. like this one looks ridiculous uh, uh it looks like they also have a, a mouse pad that is going on too but these look ridiculously cool i can't wait to check them out but yeah, this is high ground, H-I-G-R-O-U-N-D. So you are a keyboard warrior, keyboard enthusiast. Look, I even got a little bit of glow on it here. Yeah, Ugh. that's awesome. Ugh. Just uh, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, Even better, the, the symbol on the back is so cool. Oh yeah, the 10 symbol is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. This is just godlike. The blue and the gold. Yeah. I mean, the red yeah, and black is kind of a go-to, right? Like, if they would have done this black and this red, it would have been even would fit even more because, you know, that's, that's what glows. But the blue and the gold, man, there's something about it. I'm, I'm i'm really i'm really digging it's kind of like go uh kind of colors for me but yeah so it's going on you on high ground i don't know sell. i'm gonna check their oh, let me check their site real quick yeah there we go. you know nostalgia sells man oh yeah it does it does 
the with, but you know that but that Akiman like you know artwork is legendary so I I won't oh, knock, yeah. I will knock them for Never. for for using it of course but yeah this looks solid solid right now I think at the moment it's either on pre-order or you have to get yeah you have to get a reminder when they do go live uh yeah. it'll be I think at Oh, it's saying 419, so I'm assuming this is happening around available to actually pre-ordering starting the 19th. So we're probably going to see this maybe shown off in the showcase as well to kind of help promote it, which is going to be kind of cool. So, hey, if you want to get your hands on some of these collabo keyboards, go check out High Ground, H-I-G-R-O-U-N-D on Twitter. Once again, that's going to happen on the 19th. They're going to be checking in to get yourself a spot for pre-order. So, yo, Street Fighter 6 is coming out swinging. We're less than, we're definitely less than two months away. We're like, what, a month and a half? Month and a half? Let me see. One, two, yeah, about a month less. and a half. Just about a little bit over a month Boy. and two weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that before the world explodes. Are you taking off? I might be taking off that week. I know a couple of us are. Nor deny. Okay, we'll just plead the fifth yeah. on that one in the meantime. Yep.